Welcome to Las Vegas Martin Kung Fu Channel. This is Sifu Fu JJ, the license six leopard kung fu. Let's go. Welcome back to the Lesson 6 tutorial for Leopard Kung Fu step by step. So follow me the last move from Lesson 5. The floor kick. After this kick, so this move, once you kick, is a trip kick, you go trip and cross, right leg go up, a left followed by a cross down, a left on the top, a right under, and quick get up. By your knee and attack. So see, if we go kick and kick off and boom and attack by your leopard head. How you can get up a quick from this floor move? Very important. So you go trick your right and you cross your left on top. Your body lean to the right side and your both head on the floor and push and put your head down, put your feet down and push quick and you become this strong position and you can attack by the left hand. Let's go to the next one from the move number one until further. Kick and attack. So after that, quick stand up, small step to your left, your head, one, left hand, vertical this way, and you step to your right, your left hand become vertical, attack this way, and quick step to your left, both hand cross and blocking on top of your head. This is a sweet move. It's a light per hand. Go to vertical from down to up to attack the chin. So one and same thing the other side. First five go up, attack the chin and quick block. Cross just over your head to blocking this. So don't go too low or too high. Just front of your forehead. So just something to attack you. Boom. Block. Let's start the movement number one until further. From the floor move. Once you go kick up and attack. Boom. And after step to left one and two and block. As soon you block both hands off both your head and quick come back. Both head on your waist. You step left and you go attack straight and your body stay low. This is the movement number four. As soon as you go blocking and both hand come back to waist, you bend your body and you both hand flat and mm, attack for the front part of your leopard head. Important your footwork for this move. So as soon as you go blocking, you say, come back and you bend your back and you step, come back, and step, and your body move like a swimmer. So come back, and go full power. One, two, full. And quick step, boom. The quicker you step, the more power you generate. Shoot, shoot. Okay, great. Let's just start movement number one until further. Floor. After this one, you step up, you step your right, your right hand, go down, make a circle, go, circle, around, come back, body lean back, and you go attack by your left hand. The second basic is the movement is like circle around to blocking the punch and come back and attack to everywhere you want. So for this technique, you both hand make a really tight for your leopard hand and you become a vertical and attack by the bone part. And from low to high, attack like this, like uppercut. Actually, actually your whole body from low and to up. When your knee and your waist go up, your whole body become one piece with that strong impact from low to up and same thing to the other side your right hand 
and become your right hand become like per hand and from low to high and to attack like uppercut as soon you got this one two and both hands quick block on the top so very important to protect your height shoot yeah shoot yeah shoot yeah for this technique the first move you go blocking by your bone part this side and make a circle around and you straight attack by this part front of your fingers and really tight very important this part your body move a circle and your knee make circle as well waist knees and come back one two and lean back and this is powerful. As we all know, the leprechaun is very short and fast. So two things are very important. One is your steps. Another thing is your waist. So these two things, if you can really keep practice to make it stronger and faster, you can achieve every kung fu with speed and power. So let's see. Once you make a step very important, especially the first step. So you make the first step quick and your whole body will follow. Just like you kick soccer. Once you soccer in front, you go step and boom, quick. So if you go slow, look like you don't have strong kick. The same thing for Kung Fu. Once you make this step quick, yeah, and you follow your whole body and another kick. One, two, three. So this is much more powerful with your steps. So it's very important and you make your steps. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And the other thing is your waist. Everything generates from the core. Everything generates from your core. So you go foom and come back, foom. Then this thing, if you go foom, pass, shoot, pass, go foom, pass. You see the power from your waist and your heel twist. No, foo and foo and foo and foo. So waist and feet is very important. The two things. So remember that and keep practice, my friend. Let's go the next one. On the floor and go one two three attack and go one two blocking come back power stack one two three. You lift your right knee and make some step and. Or stats attack by your left hand. Yes! Very important the steps as I just mentioned. You go strong step and power up food from your step, your waist, and your hand. Ready. So what's this again? You step and and attack by this part of your leopard hand. As I mentioned, strong, short, and effective. Let's go. The next one. Kick, shot, boom, attack, go one, two, and three, four, and five, and one, two, three, start, boom, power. After that, your right hand from low to high, and blocking and twist, and kick. Alright, so let's see this technique. Your right hand from under and go attack this way, and come back, lift, boom, kick. Just inside. This kick is very powerful if you are playing right. So you go knee lift from the top and go down. Your toe go this way to attack the part of the joint right here. Go. After this. Make strong step and step left. Cut one, cut two, and step your right and elbow. Side, side, side. So after the kick, you quick go down and step and land strong. One, two, and err. This connection is very important. As soon you got the kick, you let it. 
first strong, a lot of birds show it, and punch, punch, and attack. By your elbow, she so waist, twist this way, heel up, generate plus more power. You know, herbal, the strong boom part is right here. Yeah, herbal. Follow me from the movement number one until the end. The light part kung fu. One, one, seven, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. After the elbow, this elbow, you step your right and quick turning and attack another elbow right here. After that, you gotta go across your hand, knee lift, shake it, come down, both hand go down and jumping kick. After left hand, come back to waist, knee lift, and left her hand. The spinning elbow is very effective and dangerous move with close combine. Once you fight with someone with a short distance, your foot chance quick rotate and attack by this boom part. One thing is really important. Once you go to step, don't walk one and two. Don't walk straight. So this doesn't work. This is the person right here, and both like most people standing will be like this way, they're this way, you will be trick yourself. So what is the best steps? So first step, small and straight, and second one outside of this opponent. And you go up just with your strike. That will be work. Yatsha! After the elbow, you quick, fit together and kick. Once you kick, you land it back. Both feet, try to jump straight and rotate this way. That's the move you go. One. Once you got this, and two. And you lift, go this way. So go one, two, kick. That's the move you want to be. As soon as you land it, we finish today's lesson with the most beautiful leopard kung fu pose. Knee lift and leopard head. Thank you very much for watching. I see you in next video. And bye-bye.